an ABC News break. Now from Washington, Cokie Roberts. Good evening. The U.S. is expected to take the first step tomorrow towards imposing steep tariffs on Japanese-made cellular phones. The action, which could lead to an all-out trade war, follows last week's breakdown in U.S.-Japanese trade talks. In the Olympics today, a medal once again eluded speed skater Dan Jansen as he slipped during a 500-meter race this morning. And back in Portland, Oregon, more than 2,000 fans gave figure skater Tanya Harding an emotional send-off as she prepared to fly to Lilyhammer tomorrow. Believe in me, because I'm going to go there and I'm going to win for you and for me. Do it! you all. Thank you. The women's figure skating competition is scheduled to start February 23rd. Chrysler today recalled more than 100,000 1994 luxury cars because a wiring problem could cause the vehicles to stall. And three major makers of silicon breast implants have agreed to pay more than $3 billion as part of a proposed settlement for women who say they were injured by the implants. Later on Nightline, angry about the SNL scandal? Where do you hear about the billions the government has failed to collect from millionaire farmers? That's News Brief.